Tom. Yeah, I heard there's free eggnog. What, what are your qualifications? For eggnog? Yeah. I like it thick. Thick and noggy. Kate also is a nog lover. Huge nog lover. Um, love affair with nog started about five to ten years ago and haven't really recovered. I see. What about yours? I see. How, how, how uh, deeply are you affected by nog? Well, you know, I didn't really get into nog. Uh, I mean, I loved nog as a kid, but then it was Borden, the, you know, the kind you get in the can, oh, nice. which uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of now. Um, but I remember one year my mother. Let me stop myself right now before I start disparaging my mother's cooking ability. Hi, mom. Really, I just ramble on for a good minute and a half here about nothing. So let's get on to the nog. Uh, we've got three nogs here, and uh, Kate and Tom are now gonna tell us what our tasting results were. Uh-huh. Um, how'd you like this? Didn't. Yeah, me neither. What, Didn't. What, yeah. what is it first? This is the Lucerne Holiday Eggnog, and um, it sucks. Uh, Subtle, but... <laughs> <laughs> Well, what is it that you didn't like about it? For it's, me, it was thin. It was like flavored water. It was like someone's interpretation of eggnog without really being eggnog. Yeah, it was the the you know semblance of a eggnog, not an actual nog. No, no, it wasn't all. It was all mm. like the nog extract in milk. Mm. Pretty much is about the extent of the Lucerne Holiday eggnog, which sorry. Yeah, not good. No. Yeah. Um, how about the Southern Comfort eggnog? Ah, the Southern Comfort eggnog, which gave me some comfort. Uh, just the traditional. Uh, it's, it was thick. It was good and noggy. Uh, a little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of vanilla. Um, but I mean, go, going to that directly after the uh, Lucerne holiday eggnog. I mean, you, we could have chocolate milk and it would have been better. So. <laughs> <laughs> so the standard, the bar was low. The bar was, was even there. Uh, okay. The bar was, was in the back of the, to, uh, yeah, okay. bar was in the car. It was in the back of the car. It hadn't even been put on the stands yet when we got to the Lucerne Hall of the Eggnog. We should point out that the Southern Comfort Traditional actually does not contain any alcohol. No, but... 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 Uh, going, going back to the Going back to the Lucerne, um, I have to say that it felt like... Yes, it could. <laughs> Is that what you wanted me to say? Yes, it could. <laughs> um, the Lucerne Hall of the Eggnog actually tasted like it had a little bit of... Uh, like, a, like a rum extract in it. Um, but that bad stuff, not the good extract nah. that you get from like, the, but you know, it, nah. it had that fake flavor. Yeah, fake yeah. was, I think, fake. fake and bad. But two <laughs> words you can take away from the Lucerne holiday eggnog. <laughs> getting back to Southern Comfort though, um, that's getting closer to what I remember eggnog tasting like when I was growing up. Um, I had the homemade stuff, uh, I had the, mostly the Borden stuff, the Borden's in a can. Ah. Which, for some reason, doesn't exist anymore. Mm. We've looked high and low for the Borden's. In a can? There's and a can. shortage. Yeah. So if, if you have some in, in your area, take it. Hold on it. to it. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be worth something. Yeah. And then what about our uh, Southern Comfort oh. Vanilla Spice? That's my personal favorite. I keep that in the refrigerator at all times. Well, actually, just at Christmas time and only once because, well, we know what eggnog does to the girlish figure. <laughs> so, but but Southern Comfort, the Southern Comfort Vanilla Spice I found after... And I'm, I'm going to take a moment here because it's a very sad time for me. When I discovered the Safeway Gourmet Eggnog was no more. Uh, Safeway made a gourmet eggnog. Oh, was the best. Absolutely the best. And it was the always the go-to for nog. I just had never found nog that good. It was it was everything that I expected from a nog. And then suddenly... It fulfilled all your expectations. Yeah. Mm. I needed to go no further. You know, after my first batch of, of Lucerne... Oh, of Lucerne. Oh. Oh. So yeah, I'm all upset from the Safeway thing. Um, the Safeway eggnog, um, I, I, it was, that was it. I could have stopped right there. Uh, so every year I was look forward to the, the coming of the Safeway eggnog and then no more. This year no more. But in its place I found Southern Comfort Vanilla Spice eggnog. It rates that high. It rates that, well, uh, just a notch below. Gotcha. It's a notch below, but, but as I described it earlier, it's, it's a leg raiser. Ooh. Yeah, mm. it's a leg raiser. This was so thin, you could see daylight through it. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, this was thicker, but we uh, we didn't have uh, as much of a you know flavorful thing going on. No. This one was incredibly flavorful, not necessarily as thick as this. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. I think that we should check out some of the viewer mail. Okay, let's do it. Timmy from Omaha, Nebraska writes, Where did eggnog come from? Well, Timmy, eggnog is based on an old English drink called a posset, which was made with cream and eggs, and usually some sort of ale or wine. Only the richest families enjoyed this because only they had farms, and there was no refrigeration, and you had to have your own cows and chickens or it would go bad. Yuck. Okay, all right, so we're back. We got two more. Uh, first, the food lion, pasteurized, homogenized, old-fashioned eggnog. I like how the old-fashioned is in really, really tiny type, so you almost can't even see it. Uh -huh. What about this says Christmas? Blue and red? It looks like there might be snow. Is that what that is? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. No. That's a clip art at its finest right there. <laughs> how proud they must be of their marketing. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, so that one... It's artificial. It, uh, uh, it's chalky. It's, it's not dissimilar to cheese product. This is eggnog product. We don't know what the chemical makeup of it is, but... It's like the easy cheese equivalent to eggnog. Yeah. I like that at the bottom here it says contains milk and eggs. It's like kind of a warning in case you were thinking maybe it was all artificial. Mm -hmm. It actually does contain some milk and eggs. All right, good. So, kind of a disappointment. With bad packaging. <laughs> what about the, uh, the Weiss? Really like the Weiss, like the packaging. Really, really thick yeah. on this one. And uh, has a good eggy flavor to it. I, I, I thought it detected like kind of a hint of rum to it, um, but yeah. I don't know, Tom didn't think so. Not agreeing about the rum, but I'm agreeing about the thickness. The thickness was just what you want from an egg on. It was, you know, it was almost buttery. Yeah, it was buttery. It was a very, very kind of unctuous mouthfeel. Unctuous mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. So, we picked the Southern Comfort in this beautiful package with the woodcut and the antique type. And, well, very classy. That will be our uh, pick for this round of five. Join us for our next episode where we'll be rating five more eggnogs. <laughs>